Hello, and thanks for joining as we look at one of the keys to a deeper understanding of disability insurance, taxes on benefits. As a physician, you know the importance of protecting your income with disability insurance. Still, when determining your needs, it's important to keep in mind one big difference between employer-based coverage and coverage you purchase on your own. If you have disability insurance through your employer that your employer pays for with before-tax dollars, benefits from that policy are subject to both federal and state income taxes. Likewise, if you paid the premiums with pre-tax dollars, then your disability income is also taxable. For example, if you pay premiums through a personal corporation, you are likely using pre-tax dollars. In summary, a monthly benefits disability policy purchased with before-tax dollars will be subject to federal and state taxes. How this would apply to your disability benefit depends on your income tax bracket. For example, a 34% tax rate applied to a $12,500 benefit would lower the actual received benefit to about $8,250 a month, leaving a $4,250 gap in your disability income benefits. On the other hand, benefits from coverage you purchase yourself with after-tax dollars is generally not considered taxable income. Over the course of a year, that makes for a difference of $51,000 in spendable disability income protection. This makes for a significant difference in the amount of spendable income you actually get from the two different types of coverage. Supplemental disability income insurance can help fill the gaps left by your employer-provided coverage. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, contact one of our insurance specialists to learn more. Email team at amainsure.com or call 888-627-5902. AMA Insurance is coverage for your financial well-being.